and Cheryl here today with Really Reasonable Ribbon and today's project share is a sweet little apron treat box that I created for uh, the Really Reasonable Ribbon blog hop for June. So if you'd like to join us for the blog hop, um, you can go to reasonableribbon.com, the blog, her blog, or you can go to sweet designs by Cheryl dot blogspot dot com. I'll go ahead and put some links below um, for you. If you're going to my blog, it's sweet with three E's. Um, so you could join us there. There will be uh, inspiration and a chance to win a gift certificate to Really Reasonable Ribbon. So you won't want to miss that. Um, so anyways, let's go on and uh, move on for the project so I can share this with you. So for the paper that I used on here, I went ahead and used the Pebbles Americana collection. I just picked some of the scrap pieces I had in here. Um, so that's what I used to cover the front. Um, if I would have had more time, I would have covered the back and possibly the inside. So my next one will definitely be covered. Um, I completely forgot about this project, you guys. So um, yesterday on the 12th of June, I was like, oh my gosh, I need a project for June 13th. Log up. And, um, you know, I had my granddaughter. I was busy with her, so I completely forgot. <laughs> so anyways, I did managed to get something put together the blog post done and everything on um, the 12th which I don't like doing that at the last minute um, but so for everything on here I'm going to go over everything I used um, with you so I did use really reasonable ribbons a uh, plaid ribbon for the handles this is the 5 8 inch ribbon I used it for my handles and then I also used it for the bows on the sides as well. I thought it'd be super cute um, with the little flower in the center. And then I did carry the paper to the sides. Um, I didn't do the back, the paper on the back. And really, I would definitely put some buttons over these on my next one. Um, so I didn't do that. I just didn't have enough time to fuss with that, but my next one will definitely be done. So I did use some of the older um, lace from Really Reasonable Ribbon, and then I used one that you can't really see behind there. I didn't mean to cover it up, but it did, it got covered up. Um, I believe that one's the Gabrielle lace, um, and that one I believe is in stock still. So the next thing I used was the little heart-shaped uh, embellishment. That one is from Really Reasonable Ribbon. The little cherries are buttons that I ha I've had for years. I just cut the shanks off the backs of those. Um, the little darling cherry pie bunny is from Kadoodlebug Designs, and it's an SVG file that I already had done up and ready to go. I do all my files that way so they're ready when I need to use them and I can just pull them. Same with the spoon. It was ready to go and I just added the sweet little bow with the plaid ribbon. This one's the 3 16 inch uh, wide ribbon. So I used that and made a sweet little bow for that. All the die cuts behind here were all in a drawer and same with this one. Um, you know, when you're making things and you cut out extra, sometimes I'll put them in the pouch with the die. A lot of times if I'm like got a ton of stuff cut, I'll throw it in this drawer right next to me and I have a ton of dies, die cuts in there. So I pulled out uh, the this one, the red and this other little heart. And then this already had sweet stamped on it and I thought I'm using it. And then I just distressed the edge in the blue. And so that's that. Now this one, I did cut out the little tag that's right there. Um, so I cut that one out and I stamped the little Stampin' Up on there. Stamp, it says enjoy. Um, I used the little clothes pin to close it. I thought, I thought it looked cute closed. So that's why I did the little clothes pin like so. Just kind of keeps it together. I think you could put some little treats in here, right? That'd be super cute um, to add some little goodies in there, make a cute little gift. If you know me, you know I love making treat containers and boxes um, to gift. I think they're just so much fun to make. 
and they make really nice gifts to give. Um, if you're doing a luncheon or you need some coworker gifts or just friend gifts, you know, neighbor gifts, whatever. These are so much fun to make and they're super easy, I think. Um, so anyways, I did that. I used the template that I printed out. I'm going to try to see if I can find the template. I, ha I had it uh, saved in my files. I'm going to see if I can grab it off of Pinterest and put a link down in the um, comment or description area, you guys. Sorry, right below the video. So if you open up the description, I'll put a link to our blog hop just in case you'd like to join us for that. And you can get um, maybe get some inspiration from some of the design team and also be entered for a chance to win a gift certificate to Really Reasonable Ribbon. Um and so that that will be fun. So anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this. Sorry, you guys, it's been a while since I've done any videos. So I'm going to start with a few short videos and then I'll hop back into doing some. It's been about three weeks, I think, since I've actually made a video. So I'm hoping to get some done. It's just been crazy and busy for the last few weeks. So anyways, if you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos and you would like to be notified, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments you'd like to leave, please leave those below. And thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.